San Francisco is one of the most expensive cities to live in America, so come apartment hunting with me and let me show you some of the places I didn't end up picking and why. I have lived rent free for almost 28 years and I am not prepared to see how much apartments cost here in San Francisco in 2023. So we were taking a look at one and two bedroom apartments. Since both Scott and I work from home, we're really looking for a space that we love and has good natural lighting, something with a dishwasher and in-unit laundry and potentially parking. Parking is such a tricky thing here in San Francisco. So it's really important that it has uh, convenient parking or at least a parking spot that we could pay for. So the very first house that we're looking at, I've dubbed the chicken house. Starting off strong, this is a two bed upper unit apartment with lots of natural light and it has a lot of original charm to it with beautiful wooden trim. I've decided to nickname this apartment the chicken house because it smells so strongly of the oil from the restaurant down below. Even though parts of the apartment is renovated, I don't want my hair to smell like delicious fried chicken every single day. The smell truly distracted me from this entire tour and I just wanted to leave. But for the sake of this video, let's continue on with the tour. So here's the hallway that goes into the kitchen that's recently renovated. It does have a dishwasher, in-unit laundry, and dryer. Maybe this apartment just needs a deep cleaning, but for $4,000 per month, I think we can do better. A lot of the houses are built in the 40s or 50s or 60s, and they're not very well maintained. Based on all of the photos, I thought I would like this place, but I could not get over the smell. I don't think it was worth the price. We should look these up online. Next up, we are driving over to Haight-Ashbury, which is best known for its vintage shopping and Victorian houses. Having an apartment that's super walkable is definitely on the top of our list. As someone who has lived rent-free for over 28 years, it was really important for me to go apartment hunting in real life to get a sense of space and to see the minimum sizing I would feel comfortable with. So this one bed, one bath unit had a surprising view of the Golden Gate Bridge, but it didn't have a lot of privacy in the bedroom and the living room was quite small. And as a good practice, we tried to visualize where we would put all the furniture in the apartment, like our couch, sofa, TV, desk. And at this point, I was starting to feel a little bit suffocated and I felt like we would be living on top of each other. But if you were a single person, I think this would be totally okay. This kitchen also had so many red flags. It does not have a lot of counter space it has an electric stove which is quite challenging for me because i cook two to three times a day and i like my food to have good wok hay and if you're chinese you would totally understand what i just said i wonder if they ever replace those pull out chopping boards and take a look at this large farmhouse sink so now that we have a sense of the layout let's go and check out the bathroom which is really when things started to go downhill as a girl who takes a significant amount of time getting ready in the morning it's really important that the bathroom is good i am so glad i turned on that light because it has a fan that's permanently on and it hums so loud that it's nearly impossible to film in this room let me know in the comments if you're a fan of a bright colored bathroom or if you're more of a neutral girly and i seriously cannot believe what happened next oh, oh, oh whoa this tub is absolutely small okay that bathroom is just way too small for us this is the moment when I looked at the closet and I realized, oh no, I have way too much clothes and way too many pairs of shoes for any single person to ever own. It is never going to fit in this apartment. And since I'm in San Francisco and not another city, I'm just going to keep an open mind just in case this is the best apartment we're going to see in the day. What did surprise me is the rooftop that is shared with the other tenants, but it has such a nice city view, especially on a clear day. This apartment taught me so many valuable lessons like things that I don't want and things that I actually need. So Scott and I quickly ran out of there and we decided to drive around the neighborhood just to see if there were any other listings. This next apartment 
apartment had so much potential. Remember when we went apartment hunting a few years ago? Well, none of them looked as good as these. I'm not sure if it's just lucky girl syndrome or the recession kicking in, but this place looked very livable. The floors looked brand new. There's so many windows with natural light. We're on the second floor, so we're not sure if our neighbors would be stompers, but walking down the hallway, there's tons of storage. Look at the size of these bedrooms. It's really like a maze. And there's plenty of outlets in this room. The mirror sliding door closets are huge. Scott's just pointing out that the bathroom faces this bedroom. And then I turned around and I saw that there was another Thanks. bathroom. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. The overall vibe of this place is that it's very large and spacious, but it just feels like we're underground. Whoa, this is like my Davis. You see Davis closet. This could be your, your uh, recording studio in here. If you had a closet this big, would you turn it into an office, recording studio? Let me know in the comments. However, it only has one washer and one dryer for everyone in the apartment building, which is like 10 or 12 different units. Another benefit is for another $200, you can get a parking spot. The idea of sharing a laundry machine with 12 other units seems pretty stressful for me, especially if I work in the fashion space and have a lot of clothes and laundry to do all the time. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this listing if you would ever consider living here. I've never pictured myself living out in the sunset. It just feels so far away from the rest of the city. We really wanted to see this two bedroom apartment. This is definitely on the smaller end. It does have a gas stove, yay. But something about this carpet smelled so bad. The apartment itself looks pretty well maintained. Like the bathroom looked pretty clean and it had this vintage shower. And oddly enough, it has a similar layout to my parents' house with a left and right bedroom, and it overlooks a school with the Golden Gate Bridge view. The world like I promised I These views were pretty good, and you can even see downtown. All right, let's take a look at the closets together, and you let me know if you think I can fit all of my clothes and shoes in here. Yeah. Again, this apartment is just a bit too small for us, so we decided to pass. This last two bedroom apartment looks so beautiful, but it's really, really far out in the outer sunset. We just felt like we would be super isolated and away from our friends and no one would ever really come out to visit us. Okay, spoiler alert, this was our favorite house that we saw of the entire bunch. This place just had so much character. It has fresh paint, it's newly renovated. Look at this marble countertop. The minute we walked in, we already knew we weren't going to get this place. All of the appliances were brand new. The previous tenant left behind this beautiful armoire. There's even a walk-in closet. I looked Scott in the eyes and said, I think I wanna live here. And when you walk into the bedroom, take a look at these windows and the view. It's just so private and cozy. This is very spacious. It's almost as big as mine, like back home, or and the tall ceilings too. I think this walk-in closet is larger than most bedrooms in New York City. So at this point, I've mentally already moved into this place. I've signed the lease. I'm fantasizing where I would put all of my furniture and my shoes. And for good measure, I even do a sound test to see if it'd be too loud for me to film my YouTube videos. We somehow forgot to even look at the bathroom but saw the basement and our future parking spot within unit laundry. 
Even though it seems very beautiful and picturesque and has tons of parking, I think I want to prioritize being able to hang out with my friends. So I think the apartment that we ended up picking is the best of both worlds. We're able to have our own space with two bedrooms and then a huge backyard. We have a parking spot. So I'm really excited to continue decorating and, you know, renovating this spot. Stay tuned for part two, which is coming out next week on our apartment hunt because we found a place with a pink bathroom and I think there's one that was definitely haunted.